Welcome to what was once known as Riley on Film. I am your host, Damian Riley, and the podcast we are on is called But I Digress. Now, let's get on with the show. Are you ready for traveling? We got an adventure ahead. Here we go. Hopefully we don't die. Well, we're on Chapter 7 of the Time Machine already. Seems like just yesterday I got the idea that I wanted to investigate what this classic novel is all about. And we've talked a lot about time travel. We haven't really talked a lot about the plot, unfortunately, but as you heard in the bumper at the beginning here, we are now a new podcast name. We're still the same podcast. I'm still the same podcast. Um, But it's called But I Digress, which is a very, very common idiom for podcasters. And anybody uh, who speaks to groups, uh, you know, as a teacher, oftentimes when I'm studying Shakespeare with my students, We'll get off and start talking about Luke Skywalker or what have you. And, you know, sometimes, I don't know if it's my age, probably is, but you forget, you know, what the original motive was. And so you say, but I digress and you get back on track. So I take a lot of kidding about somebody who talks a lot and then sometimes trails off into other topics they call that a bird walk. Well, I'll call it the birds of Bali, the night birds with the scary eyes that are all threatening to eat me because my love left me alone on a beach. That's the night birds of Bali, uh, the theme of that, which is one of my songs. But, you know, mostly this podcast is going to remain uh, reviewing movies. That's how it started. It was called Riley on Film for years. The the URL is still RileyOnFilm.com. But I really like the idea of embracing what appears as a weakness but really is a superpower. And that's the ability to believe in your interpretation of a work. And I think uh, allowing yourself to digress is a great way to flex that muscle. Chapter 7 has something that really, really smacks of... uh, climate change he talks a lot about especially uh, like the first third of it um about how the Molochs and the other ones and the little people and it's yeah honestly it's kind of hard to keep track of all of them because they're not really developed he just kind of throws them in there but i do encourage you to read it on your own you'll probably get more than i got but uh it takes me a little bit of time to get that visual going in my head and i know that there's little people and i know that there's molochs and um and now i know that it's getting darker guys it is getting darker and the way he describes it just makes it so freaking scary it's just the idea that like what if light was going out I heard something the other day about how we are we are human beings um, the, which are which are beings of light, and I love that notion because you know if you want to take it to the biblical place, uh, you can because there's truth everywhere, especially in the Bible. In certain spots, there's also not so much truth. There's other places, like you know, take the woman who the offending woman who's on her period out to the edge of the town you know because she's dirty and unclean that's a bunch of bullshit and related to a certain time and we're supposed to interpret that but other things we're supposed to take you know seriously so anyway i am just a kind of an avid student of the bible i know a lot about it and i just think you need to watch it when anytime you put you know words uh on some kind of absolutist pedestal because they're not not any more than a manzana is the same, uh, you know, rolls off the tongue the same way as the word apple. And yet they both represent the red crunchy fruit that we love so much with the sweet white center. 
Well, one's called the Manzana, and the child that was raised in Mexico or Spain thinks of an apple like us in English, you know, those who speak English, we think uh, apple, but it's really manzana. So anyway, you get the point. This multiplies out, multiplies out, and if you take it back 2,000 years, you've got the beginning of the Christian religion. If you take it back 45,000 years to the Chauvet Cave, you don't even have a, a language. You have pictures. Pictures are, that are religious in nature of moving animals because you couldn't go to AM, PM to get meat. But I digress. So it's getting darker in chapter 7 and it's really creepy. And uh, this is going to be a really short one. I just mostly wanted to introduce the bumpers and just kind of say, hey, I'm, you know, working out my book. It's almost done. I really hope that you will check out Riley on Film and look for your opportunity to buy my Halloween stories. Um, it's called O Eerie Escucha. And uh, it's a story about a witch named uh, Escucha, Sandra Cucha. And uh, pretty damn scary. I've been having a lot of fun putting it all together. Uh, it's actually a collection um, of an assortment of stories, but they're all themed as a scary theme for Halloween. And... You know, I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys, get the new bumpers up, get everything ready to go, get everything ready to roll for our travel and event, which is going to be the release of this book. I have a lofty goal for it. I really hope it will sell a lot, so I hope you spread the word. So, that's it for now. I'm really looking forward to 2025. Just going to be a great year for... Um, you know, for just for my art and my music, I've got a new album out called Authentico. I don't know if you've checked it out yet, but it's on YouTube and it's going to be on all the services very soon. It's tough when you're dealing with lawyers and you're dealing with you need every track to meet a certain specification. I don't know if any of you have messed around with, you know, getting your music uh, out there on Apple Music, etc., etc., and Spotify, etc., etc., I personally I found it a lot easier to get it on YouTube so you can listen to it on YouTube music it's called autentico it's a Spanish word it's the word for authentic so anyways I will see you guys very soon which will be next time take care thanks for tuning in and spending some time with us on but I digress hey I hope this adventure has fueled your day have a good one now I will see you next time.